I'm Blaine Carter. Together, we're going to be exploring the what, why, and how of open source technologies. In this video, I will show you how to set up an SSH tunnel for one of your build jobs in Oracle's Developer Cloud Service. Then after that, I will use that SSH tunnel to connect to my Oracle Cloud database, and that way I won't need to open up port 1521. Now, if you're not familiar with Oracle's Developer Cloud Service, or DevCS for short, it is a hosted team development and delivery platform with all kinds of useful tools to help you and your team be more efficient. Uh, I'll put some uh, helpful links in the description below for DevCS and some other things that uh, you may find handy. All right, let's get started. Uh, you can see here I'm in my DinoDate project. I'm going to click on the Builds tab, and I'm going to create a new job. I'm going to call this job Demo SSH Tunnel, and I will select the software template that I have previously created, and then hit Create Job. This will open up the uh, configuration for the new job. Uh, I'm going to skip over the uh, source control build parameters, some of the stuff you would normally do in a build job step. And instead, I'm going to just jump over to the environment. And I'm going to add an SSH configuration environment. Now, of course, for an SSH connection, I'm going to use an RSA private key and public key that I have already generated. Uh, you don't actually have to fill in the public key, but if you plan on using these keys to connect to something else uh, other than just the database, you can get access to them by checking this little checkbox down here, which will make these available as files in the home SSH directory, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, so I'll put that in there. Oops, I put the private key in twice. Let me get the public key. There we go. Now I have the private and the public key. And then next I want to create the SSH tunnel. And so I check that checkbox. My username is OPC. My local port is 1521. And my remote port is also 1521. Uh, you can change those uh, if you need to. Uh, my IP address for my server goes here. That'll get me to my database. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if there's a, you know, maybe you want to connect with a password instead of the key, you have that option there. Uh, this is the string that DevCS is going to use to generate the tunnel. And so with that, the tunnel looks, uh, looks like it's set up. I'm going to switch over to steps. And I'm going to add a build step that is just a Unix shell step. And in here, I will just do a, a simple uh, ls of the uh, SSH directory so we can see the keys that are generated by clicking that save the, the files checkbox. And then next up, I'm going to click on SQL CL. And here we're going to connect to our database using our tunnel. So my username and password go in there the connect string instead of putting in the IP address since we have the tunnel I can just use a local host like you can see here and then the rest of the connection string information goes there I'm gonna do a, just a simple inline uh, SQL statement for select uh, sysdate from dual uh, leave everything else the same alright with that I'm gonna hit save and that should save the uh, the build job there and then I will just hit build now. Uh, at this point it'll fire up the executor and then it will run the build job. Uh, depending on how long that takes I may speed up the video here. Alright, you can see it uh, spinning up. We'll click on this little button here so we can watch the console as uh, it does its thing. Uh, reading through here, you can see right here where we did the ls minus la of the SSH directory. And you can see that we now have an ID RSA, which would be our private key that we entered in the, uh, in the field for the tunnel. And we have an ID RSA for the public key that we entered into the tunnel. So that part is just to show you where the keys are saved if you need to use those for some other purpose and then down here you can see we fired up SQL CL and here you can show that we made our connection to the database 
and then it did its thing. It just ran that simple query, and then it came back with build complete and status done. And so it's really that simple to create an SSH tunnel, and then anywhere else in this particular build job that you need to connect to that database, you can just use localhost instead of having to uh, connect into the database um, using the, the IP address in port 21. Uh, now, keep in mind, this is just for this particular build job. If you have multiple build jobs connecting to the same database, you'll want to set up an SSH tunnel in each of those build jobs. It's not shared between jobs. But anyway, that's how simple it is, and I hope you find this video useful. Uh, if you do, please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel, and thank you for uh, spending your time with me.